Hi, my name is Tim Grayson. I'm with the Nebraska DOT. Hi, I'm Asadullah Sahak. I'm with the Nebraska Department of Transportation. Today we are going to demonstrate AASHTO T380, the mini prism test. Um, the first thing we're going to do is Assad is going to butter up our five gallon uh, mixing pail. And while he's doing that, I'll explain uh, what we have weighed up here for our batch material. First thing we have weighed up is our cement that we're going to use. Next we have our fine aggregate minus the number four. And third is we weighed up our three-eighths material and our number four material separately. And then we combined them into, our, into, into this bucket. The limestone in our mix represents our non-reactive aggregate. So our fine aggregate is going to be our reactive aggregate that we're testing. Um, we have our water already measured up. Um, the test calls, says that you need to have your alkali content be at 1.25%. Um, we add additional sodium hydroxide to our water in pellet form to achieve that. Because um, normally our cement is about a 0.6 total alkalis that we use. So to get it up to the 1.25, we add additional sodium hydroxide to our mixed water and dissolve it and that's how we get it up to that 1.25. So we already did that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start mixing. So first thing we'll do is we'll add three quarters of our water to the pail. Then we'll add our aggregates. Now we'll, we'll mix the aggregates by themselves just for a few seconds just to get, get the aggregates uh, lubricated with the moisture. Okay, next we'll add the cement. Our initial mix time will be for three minutes. At the end of our initial three minutes of mixing, we will let the mix uh, rest for additional three minutes of rest time. And we'll cover it with burlap. Okay. Stop. Now we'll let it rest for three minutes and cover it with, uh, we have a rag, but we'll cover it with the moist uh, rag. We are close to the end of our uh, three minute rest period. So at the end of our three minute rest period here, we will take the moist rags off and then we will mix an additional two minutes. Ready? Okay. After our two minutes of mixing, we'll, we'll then uh, fill our three uh, uh, prism molds.
Okay, we're going to make three uh, beams. Go ahead, Asad. And I'm going to rod each one 25 times. And we'll do this in two lifts. Now we'll vibrate them to consolidate the mortar. Now we'll do our second lift. And now we'll strike them off to a smooth finish. After we finish them, uh, we'll wipe the excess uh, mortar off and then we will cover them up with uh, plexiglass. And then we'll move them to a place of storage. Um, so now tomorrow, in 24 plus or minus uh, half an hour, we will uh, remove the specimens from the mold, and this is what we'll have. And then we'll do our initial measurements tomorrow and place them in a container with water.